a wonderful session uh, before us now. Um, let's go ahead and get started, please. We have three presentations. We will save the questioning to the end of the third presentation, so you may ask any one of the three uh, presenters questions about their uh, presentation at that time, so we can stay on time. So let's start with the first presentation this afternoon, which will be the development and application of MOOCs at National Open University in Taiwan. And the presenter is Associate Professor Chi Nguyen Lu, uh, Director of Instructional Media Department, National Open University of Taiwan. So welcome, happy to have you here today. And please begin when you're ready. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for all before being here. I'm so glad to be here to share our experience about the development and application of MOOCs in our university. As you, as you know, the New York Times has declared uh, that 2012 is the year of the MOOCs. So it, it, they have great influence on higher education system. And in, in Taiwan, the Ministry of Education has launched the MOOCs project from 2014. And we have translated in, in Chinese MOOCs project. And the aim of this project is to uh, the university to establish their own mechanism for MOOC development and encourage teachers to further enrich their course content and to promote the development of digital education. And finally, we want to create brands for Chinese course. And in this recent year, uh, recent years, uh, our university has actively uh, participate in this MOOCs project. Um, in terms of platform service and MOOCs production and promotion, I want to show our experience about this. Uh, let's start with the platform service. Uh, in Taiwan, we have four major MOOCs platform that was uh, provided by different university. Uh, in our university, we provide uh, Taiwan Live, MOOC platform. And Taiwan Live MOOC platform is the sister platform of the E1, which provided by National Jiao Tong University. And the other platform is Share Course and Open EDU. They provide by Fengjia University and uh, Tsinghua University. Uh, Taiwan Live MOOC platform uh, has established in 2014, and now we have side contracts with 62 university and four organizations in Taiwan. And during the 2014 and 2018, it has delivered 114 courses. Uh, there are more than 34,000 registered students and more than 63 uh, course enrollment uh, in Taiwan Life. And 95% of the students were from Taiwan, and 4% from mainland China. And the rest 1% from Malaysia, Hong Kong, and other countries. So Taiwan Life is more local, uh, most preferred. And during the 2014 to uh, 2018, in Taiwan, our government has sponsored about more than 300 more courses. It's not many courses uh, when compared with other uh, Coursera or Future Learn, this kind of MOOC platform. But most of these courses have good quality and good content due to the subsidies and resources from our government. Uh, Talking about the Taiwan Live platform, our university, we analyze the course category, and we can find that 51% of the MOOC course uh, belong to the humanity, and social science category account for 20%, and followed by 
nature science, history, applied science, oh, sorry, applied science and medicine. The course enrollment, um, most of the course, the students are fewer than 600, and this student number is not, not many compared with the US or uh, Thai, Thai MOOCs. Our university also provides another services uh, to the Taiwan Life and e want platform. We provide certificate examination because some university, they want their students can get credits from MOOCs learning. But for credit or certificate course, the assessment has to be serious. So uh, this university want to have the 50% of the total score was from the MOOCs learning, MOOCs online test, and the rest 50% of the score, they want to take the uh, certificate examination. So uh, the student can choose the nearest or preferred center uh, because uh, there are 30 learning centers in our university around Taiwan. So the learner can choose any one of the learning center to take the uh, certificate examination in person. And maybe they are offline examination or uh, traditional paper examination, but he has, has to finish the examination by himself. So we can take the exam, uh, examination at the same time and the same day but in different learning center. And let's move to the MOOCs pr production. Uh, in the last, in last four years, uh, National Open University has provided 10 MOOC uh, course, uh, belongs to the general education category and business and management category. In our university, the director of the instruction media department was in charge in this MOOCs project, and that is me. <laughs> and we also, <laughs> we divided our staff and our colleague into three units. The first one is administration unit. It also can uh, divide it into secretary session, information platform session, and intellectual property session. Intellectual property is very crucial. And the second unit is instructional media unit. We have our own professional studio and professional staff to produce MOOCs. And each course has its own course unit, consists of instructor, uh, media designer, and course assistant. We have some rationale when we design our course MOOCs, a MOOC course. The first one is uh, to using the animation or picture or case to stimulate learning interesting. And we use the lecture and discussion session to fortify professional knowledge. And we use business case and the live events uh, for discussion. And that is very important in our MOOC course. And we use the online issue discussion to enhance interaction between the teacher and learner, and learner between the learner uh, and, and students. And we use online test assignment and report to enhance learning effects. Here is our findings. We found that instructional video hits are higher in the case analysis and evaluation related units. Because uh, you can see in this picture, the instructional video his was very high in this unit. What is this unit? This unit is about the academic debate by student. We make the, um, we have the video and student debate. We recording this debate and upload this unit on the MOOCs. And we ask learner to hang in a report on what they have learned from this debate video. They have to finish the exercise. So the video hit was very high. And that also can be found in case analysis unit. And we, this is uh, our types of video presentation. We have demonstration, drama, 
comic and animation, extensual discussion and lectures. And I want to show uh, a, a video clip of the one course, uh, which is the criminal theory and the case study. Uh, uh, it was pronounced by uh, in pronounced in Chinese, but don't worry about that. I just want to show the presentation types of the video. <laughs> Sorry. It's a, a video clip. Hello,同学,大家好,快的进入到我们第三周的课程了 and we, we will show a case, a criminal case. That is a news event. Uh, the course begins with a crime, uh, crime news event as a case. And the teacher will discuss this case. And the teacher explains the crime test analysis. And behind this is a news video. Uh, and we use Kami to present five cases. We have ten cases in this, uh, this course. Each one has a uh, case analysis. And the teacher explained the theory of the Kami crime on this case. Yeah. That's just the types that we use in the making, producing the uh, video firm. Video. Sorry. Okay, let's move to the uh, MOOCs promotion. I try to summarize our promotion model into uh, six models. The first model one is sharing course resources with China platform. There are two uh, MOOCs. Darwin and Humanity and Introductory Marketing Planning and Management has been delivered on CM MOOCs platform. Uh, in Chinese, we say Hao Da Xue Zai Xian in mainland China in 2015. There are more than 1,200 students to the course uh, with 700 of them for course credit. From this Map, you can find the most students from the Northeast region and Hainan Island. And the second model is we participate in the program of MOOCs for General Education. The MOOCs for General Education project was initiated by National Jiao Tong University from uh, 2015. And that is, um, National Open University encouraged and invited many universities as the host university. And they produced their good quality MOOCs course to other home universities. Then students can enroll this course and get credit from them. And our university can provide a course of life, science, and law. This course uh, to the National Jiao Tong University on E1 platform as a two-credit course for general education. Again, the online test is account for 50% of the student score, and students have to require to take the final examination in person for the rest of 50 of the score. The Model 3 is incorporate the MOOCs into university course or free teaching. Uh, some of our course instructors are from other universities, so they incorporate uh, our MOOCs teaching material into their 18 weeks course. And these two MOOCs was incorporated into the, their uh, 
their uh, formal course. And teacher requires students to participate in online MOOCs learning and grading their performance. At the end of the course, we, do some, we did some questionnaire to survey their satisfaction. They show high, high satisfaction of the student. They like this kind of branded learning. The model four is issuing training our credit for civil servants for advanced study. Besides for the public, uh, we also provide six courses on the MOOC platform of Regional Civil Service Development Institute for civil servants to engage in advanced study and accumulate training hour credit. Here is their uh, MOOC platform. We provide six courses for the civil uh, servant to enroll to get a training credit. And we also find uh, one interesting, uh, interesting thing. We find that ensuring course credit and training our credit is beneficial to increase course completion rate. Uh, take this course, for example, this course is uh, life science and law. And that has been delivered uh, three times. The first time is for the general public, which is interesting. The completion rate is 11. And the second time incorporate uh, uh, college student for course credit. The completion rate is almost uh, 20%. The third time we uh, invited a civil servant uh, to join and the completion rate is 32%. So we can find that the completion rate is higher for this kind of student. This kind of student was taste oriented learner. Model five is issuing microcredit to promote the enrollment of MOOC course. And our university has built microcredit courses and allow teachers to combine MOOC teaching material with other teaching activity to organize formal one credit course for our university students in the future. So in the future, we have the one credit course and students can learn from the MOOC course and get one credit. And the Model 6 is the Global Asia MOOCs project. Our uh, universe, um, the Ministry of Education in Taiwan has launched the Global Asia MOOCs project this year. And they encourage our university to promote our MOOCs uh, in the Southeast Asia country. And that's why I'm here to promote our, our MOOCs. So we heard that royal family in Thailand encourage people to learn Chinese. So we chose uh, Thailand as the first trial. So we provide two courses that is creative, uh, creative marketing, creative public relations, and creative essential of economics. This is uh, our MOOCs, and this is uh, MOOCs from National Jiao Tong University. Um, it will, uh, the, it will start from uh, 20, 20 August. So, and maybe you can, some of them maybe have the leaflets list of this. this. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. thank you. Kong Feng Ka. Sorry. Um, this course was taught in Mandarin, but don't worry about that. We have subtitle with Thai, English, traditional Chinese, simplified Chinese. You know, we have different Chinese. Uh, it was taught in Chinese, uh, teaching about the uh, business administration, that kind of marketing, marketing public relations. Yes, but we have different subtitles to choose. Because um, I think this course was uh, suitable for uh, those um, business Chinese program in many universities. They have, um, in Thailand, they, there are many business Chinese programs. I heard about that. And for those students, or those students want to learn Chinese or know more about the business, maybe they can 
uh, enroll in this course. And if you find someone interested in that, please recommend to them. Thank you very much, Kompunka. <laughs> and finally, let's watch a video of the promotion video. And um, it was pronounced uh, in Thai. But we have subtitle in English. การมีนวัตกรรมอยู่ในอ้อมกอดคือความสามารถที่คนวัยทำงานจำเป็นจะต้องมีทั้งยังเป็นตัวขับเคลื่อนให้มุ่งไปสู่ความสำเร็จอีกด้วยมหาวิทยาลัยเปิดแห่งชาติและศูนย์ข้อมูลการศึกษาระดับอุดมศึกษาสำหรับความเปิดกว้างได้ร่วมมือกับมหาวิทยาลัยสือเจียนได้เปิดตัวหลักสูตรความสร้างสรรค์กับพาณิชยศาสตร์ซึ่งประกอบไปด้วย3รายวิชาของมุกการตลาดเชิงสร้างสรรค์สาหรับผู้เริ่มต้นเป็นการแนะนำวิทยาการของการพัฒนาการตลาดเน้นเรื่องการรวมตัวของเทคโนโลยีกับกลยุทธ์ทางการตลาดการวิเคราะห์กรณีศึกษาการตลาดที่ประสบผลสำเร็จมีความคิดสร้างสารรค์เพื่อให้ผู้เรียนได้กลายเป็นผู้เชี่ยวชาญด้านการตลาด Open m i n d สื่อใหม่แบบข้ามขอบเขตและการประชาสัมพันธ์อย่างสร้างสารรค์คือการเริ่มจากมุมมองของความคิดสร้างสารรค์รวมกับภาควัฒนธรรมและความสร้างสารรค์ของนักวิชาการภาครัฐสำรวจความหลากหลายของสื่อวัสดุต่างๆแบบวิธีบูรณาการเพื่อพัฒนาความสามารถด้านการประชาสัมพันธ์แบบสร้างสารรค์ของผู้เรียนให้ท่านจับสายตาของลูกค้าได้ภายใน30วินาทีการเรียนธุรกิจสร้างสารรค์คือการใช้มุมมองที่สร้างสารรค์ในการวิเคราะห์หัวข้อที่สําคัญทางเศรษฐกิจอาจารย์มีวิธีการสอนที่เป็นเอกลักษณ์เฉพาะในการผสมผสานทั้งแนวตะวันออกและตะวันตกแนะแนวทางให้ผู้เรียนรู้จักคิดตรึกตรองวางตะกะที่ถูกต้องทางธุรกิจและการลงทุนการเรียนรู้ผ่านหลักสูตรความสร้างสรรค์และพาณิชยศาสตร์สามารถให้ผู้เรียนเจาะลึกเข้าถึงการรวมกลุ่มของสื่อใหม่การใช้เครื่องมือต่างๆในการทำโฆษณาและการประชาสัมพันธ์กระตุ้นนักเรียนให้เกิดความคิดสร้างสรรค์เพื่อเพิ่มศักยภาพในการแข่งขันของสถานที่ทำงานโอเค don't worry about the discussion part because we have invited a teacher uh, who is Uh, instructor in Thailand, and now he's starting his uh, PhD program in Taiwan. He will help us to deal with the discussion session. So, uh, student or learner uh, that want to ask question in Thai, we have teacher can answer this question. No problem. So, uh, thanks for your listening. <laughs>